Thank you very much for coming out this evening. We're the U.S. Army Blues. We're part of the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. Uh, it's really an honor to be here and perform for, for all of you, and we're glad you made it here safely to Fort Myer. And uh, that first composition was one by the great Thad Jones, a really prolific composer in the jazz realm, and wrote many, many classic uh, compositions that we still play to this day. Uh, you heard from Sergeant First Class Luke Brimhall on the trombone. <clears throat> Sergeant First Class Dustin Mollick on the baritone saxophone. Master Sergeant Reagan Bruff on the bass. Staff Sergeant Alec Aldred on the trumpet. And uh, now we're going to play something uh, a little bit different, um, something composed in the last uh, 10 years. Uh, this was actually composed by me. Um, I wrote this uh, composition when I was a uh, a doctoral student at the University of Miami, and uh, we had a nice little uh, canoe and man-made lake situation in our backyard, and uh, we would go out on the lake really late at night and uh, just take it in and enjoy the serenity, and I call this one Reflections on the Dark, Tranquil Water. Hope you guys enjoy this.
Thank you very much. That one always seems to, to leave everyone in the audience like not knowing what to do. Um, but I, I appreciate it. Um, my name is Staff Sergeant Javier Nero, by the way. Uh, thank you very much for coming out again. And um, on behalf of our Colonel Bruce R. Pulver and uh, Command Sergeant Major Julian Ayers, once again, we'd like to extend a welcome to you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Um, you heard from Staff Sergeant James Collins on the piano there also. This next composition we're going to feature the low end of the band, our bass trombonist from Rancho Cucamonga, California. I take every opportunity to say that city name. And uh, Staff Sergeant Jake Kraft, this one is entitled Saturday Night. Hope you guys enjoy this.
Saturday night, Staff Sergeant Jake Kraft on the bass trombone. And uh, at this time, we'd like to invite to the stage our distinguished guest of honor. Um, this musician and uh, trombonist um, is quite literally uh, a legend. Um, he's um, played with all of the, the great names in the jazz world, uh, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, um, Woody Shaw, um, and speaking of Saturday night, he's been uh, playing on the Saturday Night Live band for probably over 20 or 30 years now at this point. Um, and it's just uh, overall great musician, great composer. Um, and uh, actually, I had the great fortune of uh, studying with him for three years at the Juilliard School as well. And um, so really uh, great to be full circle here now playing on stage with him. Please welcome the great Steve Ture. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here to play for you this evening and to play for such a magnificent band. Wow, you all sound great. That bass trombone was killing, man. Yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna start out the program honoring the father of the modern jazz trombone. The man that did for the trombone what Charlie Parker did for the saxophone. And I'm talking about the great J.J. Johnson. We'll play a few of his compositions. Let's see, we'll start out with El Camino Real. Then we'll do Say When, or no, Little Dave. And then Say When. We hope you enjoy.
Hello, hello, God. Little Dave was written on the changes, which is the harmonic structure, to Miles Davis's So What? And J.J. Uh, wrote this for Miles Davis, therefore Little Dave, because Miles was not tall, about, about like this mic here. He wasn't a big man, but he had a big sound. So we give you Little Dave.
I want to acknowledge that wonderful alto solo. Dan Andrews, Dan Andrews, take a bow. Yeah, man. Now we're gonna play Say When. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. At this time, I'd like to play a composition that I composed for my former boss and a great inspiration. I wrote this for Mr. Ray Charles. He used to play with his band. Unfortunately, they never recorded it. So I guess someday I'll have to do it. Maybe I can do it with y'all. Y'all, good band, man. How about it for the band? Anyway, this is called Melody for Mr. C. Of course, that's Mr. Charles. And uh, it's going to feature Xavier Perez on the saxophone and Clay Pritchard on the tenor saxophone and James Collins on the piano. I know his daddy. He's a great trombone player. So we hope you enjoy Melody. Thank you. 
hand. Take a bow, band. Come on. All of y'all. Yeah. You know, the band is powerful, yet they could play soft too. It's such a pleasure to play with a band that plays dynamics. <laughs> that was cool, y'all. At this time, I'd like to play a ballad that I wrote for Duke Ellington. And Duke was a big influence in my life because when I first started playing trombone in the fourth period, my parents took me to see Duke Ellington in person at the uh, Oakland Auditorium in California. And uh, wow, what a band. They had Ella Fitzgerald was a guest vocalist. Coleman Hawkins was a guest soloist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, jo Johnny Hodges played uh, Prelude to a Kiss. Harry Carney did Sophisticated Ladies. Clark Terry was in the band. Britt Woodman was playing Lee Tremont. I was a kid. I didn't know what they were doing, but it, it had me spellbound. I said, that's what I want to do. And I just followed that dream. And so I wrote this to honor the master, Duke Ellington. It's called Dinner with Duke.
How about a big hand for Mr. Collins on the piano? And Reagan on the bass. <laughs> you have to forgive me, I'm still learning everybody's names. And this is a really a wonderful band. I'm so thrilled to play with y'all. And I'm gonna turn it over to Luke. I am uh, Sergeant First Class Luke Brimhall. I am the jazz coordinator for the American Trombone Workshop. And I have a few acknowledgments and thank yous. But first and foremost, to our terrific guest. He's been wonderful to work with, very easy to work with, very kind person. And so another big round of applause for Mr. Steve Ture. I'd also like to acknowledge some of the members of the band that uh, you haven't met tonight, actually uh, even playing trumpet on that last one. He's performing in his final American Trombone Workshop after about 30 years or so. Oh, it was Burbs. Okay, so <laughs> playing the trumpet solo, Staff Sergeant Chris Burbank. <laughs> he didn't know it was his last ATW. 
but actually performing in their last ATW, actually two individuals I want to introduce to you, and uh, they get everything done. They do all the hard work, that's why they wear the star on their sleeve, and they are retiring, each with close to 30, 30 years, so combined 60 years of service. So playing lead trumpet, Sergeant Major Ken McGee. Yeah. And one of our other fabulous trumpet players, Sergeant Major Graham Breedlove. Also playing lead trumpet this evening, Staff Sergeant Joshua Kaufman. Who else? You also see a few individuals up here not wearing a uniform, but they used to wear the uniform. They are former members of the U.S. Army Blues, and we're fortunate to have them joining us here this evening. On trombone, that's Victor Bronco. <laughs> And also Master Sergeant Retired Antonio Orta on the alto saxophone. I'd also like to acknowledge our guitarist who's also performing in his final ATW. Uh, big round of applause for Sergeant First Class Michael Kramer. And I don't believe our fabulous drummer has been introduced this evening. This is Staff Sergeant Eric Tapper. So I have a few quick thank yous. Uh, a workshop like this doesn't go off without a lot of careful planning, detailed planning, making sure everybody gets to where they're going. And we had some different things to deal with this year. As you can see, we're in different places if you're familiar with the American Trombone Workshop. So I'd like to give a huge round of applause to the newly minted ATW president, Sergeant First Class Adam McCauley. And I'd also like to thank uh, the wonderful support staff here in Conmee Hall, as well as the uh, audio visual help that we have from our members there at the U.S. Army Band. So please, big round of applause for Sergeants Ryder, Knox, Perard, Ortiz, and McDaniel, please. So one last, one last announcement. We are going to play one more tune for you, but before we do, we're going to bring up some special guests. We had some uh, competitions yesterday, some jazz competitions, and we have two different competitions, two different age groups, and so we're going to bring up the winner from each competition to come up here and perform this last tune with us. So the winner of Division One, please welcome to the stage Pablo Mueller Santiago. <laughs> and our Division Two winner from Des Moines, Iowa, Jackson Churchill. And we have one more special guest. If you caught his master class this afternoon, I hope you were able to catch it. He's a recording artist from New York City. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Alton Sinclair. You got it. You got it. Thank you. Hello. I just, I forgot something very important and uh, just wrapped up in the music because that beautiful chart on Dinner with Duke uh, was written by Javier Nero. And I called him a few weeks ago, and I said, Javier, I said, I got your record, and it's beautiful. He writes for a big band, really nice. And so I said, would you write a chart on this for me? He said, okay. So we just ran it once this afternoon. That's the first time I played it. But it's a beautiful chart, and I'm going to keep it in my book. Thank you, Javier. Thank you, man. And these, these young guns up here, <laughs> we're going to have some fun and play a blues for you. This is something else that I wrote and recorded with Mr. Ray Charles. And I call it raise collard greens. We hope you enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pablo Mueller, Santiago, trombone. Jackson Churchill, trombone. Alton Sinclair, trombone. We are the US Army Blues. Thank you so much. Have a great night.